Hey guys, what's going on? It's Owls. Today we're going to be flying the 777F over to Memphis from Chicago O'Hare. This is a rover that FedEx operates. They usually use it with the 767-300F. But we're going to use the 777F because this plane is just great. So, we already got our baggage and cargo being loaded up on board. We're not that heavy because this is only about an hour flight. And usually FedEx use the 777s for long hauls as the 777 is meant for but we're just going to take it over on this little hop so let me go hop up in the chair to start flying this plane and we should be on our way Okay everyone, welcome to the cockpit of the 777F. We're going to go up top and give the plane some power now. Start with the battery on, get our external power on, let people know we're messing with the plane, so we'll turn the nav lights on, get our seatbelt signs on, get our left and right engine bleed on. We could turn the APU bleed off until we turn that APU on, and I'll go ahead and get this window heat up. Okay, so we're showing five minutes until the IRS aligns. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get our flight plan in and do a walk around. And then I'll catch you guys back when we're ready to push. Okay, so I got the flight plan in, got the autopilot set up, and now we're ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and come up top and turn the APU on and turn our fuel pumps on. Go ahead and turn that AP bleed on too. Alright, we're ready to go. Let's call ground. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Alright, they're ready to go. We're going to turn the beacon on and release our parking brakes. Release parking brakes, please. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Starting engine one. Giving fuel to engine one. Starting engine two. Giving fuel to engine two. Okay, both engines are stable. We're gonna head and turn on continuous, get the APU off, get the APU bleed off, and we'll go ahead and do a flight control check. Okay, we'll go full right. Neutral, full left, neutral, up, neutral, down, neutral, right rudder, left rudder. Okay, 
okay flight controls look good turn our taxi light on and release the parking brake and slowly apply some thrust and we'll get on out of the gate on the ramp I should say so the runway that we're using today for our departure is on the other side of the airport so I'm just gonna do a little time lapse until we get there so I'll see you guys in a quick set Okay, finally we are here to runway 9 center at O'Hare. Jesus, that was a long taxi. But um, we're going to pull up and then we're going to get our lights on and we'll go ahead and take off for this, I think, hour 20 minute flight, hour 25 minute flight. Should be pretty fun. Alrighty, lights on. Get our landing lights, runway turn off lights, strobes on and wing lights coming on. Also get this to RTO, forgot to set our auto brakes. Okay, on the auto throttle and spool it up. Okay guys, so it looks like we're climbing up pretty smoothly to our cruise altitude of 36,000 feet. Once we reach that cruise altitude, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. Okay everyone, we just reached our cruise altitude of 36,000 feet. We got about 175 miles to our top of the scent, so we got at least another hour in here. And yeah, I'll catch you when we start the scent. Now 
40 miles out, just about 40 miles out from our top descent, we're going to go ahead and start calculating our arrival. Alrighty guys, so we have started our descent down to 12,000 feet. As you can see outside, the clouds have started rolling in. I checked the weather down at Memphis, and it's really nothing too bizarre, like crazy. It's just a little bit of overcast, and I think probably a little bit of rain by the time we get there. But it shouldn't factor into making our landing and approach very difficult. So I'll keep descending, and once we get closer to the airport, I'll go ahead and catch you guys up. Okay guys, so we are just now passing 10,000 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and switch up our lights up there. But as you can see outside, it is a lot more cloudier than I thought it was going to be, so it might be some chop coming in, but let's go ahead and get our lights on. Get our landing lights on, we're going to turn it off, get that taxi on, we'll get the wing light on, and we'll continue descending, we're at 8,900 now. So once I go ahead and turn base and start, I guess, getting on the ILS, then I will catch you guys back up.
Okay, so we're gonna go get headed over to this ramp, the FedEx ramp. Like I said, it is about to start pouring down raining, and we need to get home before this rain starts. So we're gonna get that quick taxi over, and once we pull onto the ramp, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so we have made it to the gate, so we're going to go ahead and get our external power on, and we can kill our engines. Okay, so now that we're parked at the gate, I'm going to go ahead and turn our fuel pumps off. Go ahead and get that seatbelt sign off, and get our beacon light off. Also get our continuous engines off, window heat is coming off, engine bleeds also coming off. Alrighty guys, that will do it for today's video. We are now on the ground in Memphis. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm glad it didn't start raining on us when we are trying to land. That is a double plane, but we're not going to talk about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Probably be doing another one of these videos in the near future. So stay tuned for another one. But I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace.